Hi, Sean Bodley here with Clear Technologies and in a joint partnership with the ITSO I'm about to give an overview and demonstration of the new operator managed manual site failover capability added in PowerHA Enterprise Edition version 713. Now first let me give a little bit of an overview of what we call split merge policies. This only applies into an Enterprise Edition uh, what we now call linked clusters where we have sites defined and we lose communications between the sites. It's called a split. The cluster nodes are still actually up and running but they can't communicate to each other so we need to decide what to do. Now historically it's always been this majority rule function which has never been really documented and most people aren't aware of it. It's one of those things that you would pretty much have to encounter the situation before you uh, probably knew uh, how this worked. So majority rule essentially says uh, whichever site with the most nodes wins. Well if I only have one node at each site, now what? Uh, so that's considered a tie and in the case of the tie, uh, whichever site has the smallest node ID would win. Uh, in version 7.1, we actually added uh, additional tiebreaker capabilities uh, via a tiebreaker disk. You can actually define a tiebreaker disk and in the event of a site split or merge, the nodes will actually attempt to put a reserve on the disk and whoever reserves it first wins. So if the disk is free, I reserve it, I win. Uh, when I win, what does that mean? It means if I own the resources, I continue to keep them. If I don't own the resources, I'm going to take them. Uh, and then, of course, if I lost, it would be the, the opposite of that. So, of course, there can only be one winner. The brand new option in 713 is this new uh, operator manual uh, option to actually get a prompt notification to determine uh, what to do in the event of a split. So this is actually what I'm going to focus on and show. Now what happens is that once you have this configured, you actually have to configure this manually. It's not enabled by default and once a slight um, split site is detected, then a message prompt will be sent to Dev Console. This will actually hold up all event processing until the prompt is responded to. That's assuming uh, you left the default of number of notifications to essentially indefinite or infinite. Uh, you can set up a threshold to say try so many times and if somebody doesn't respond in a certain amount of time go ahead and take the action anyway. So the options when this prompt is presented are to either continue or to recover. Now, uh, prior to this demonstration and an upcoming 713 Redbook we're working on, the documentation on this topic has been almost non-existent. So I actually tested this feature and I actually got the terms confused about what exactly continue and recover meant. Um, when I told the failover site to continue, I thought that meant that um, it would just stay the way it is, don't, don't really do anything, uh, but that's not the case. So I'll, I'll try to explain this. Continue actually means is that if the current site node owns the resources, it'll keep it. However, if you tell the uh, failover site to continue, it's going to continue to fail over as opposed to um, my logic said that I would say recover which would which would mean take it over and that and that's not the case so recover actually will uh, force one of the sites to reboot now generally you would tell only one site to continue and only one site to recover uh, if you actually told both sites to continue, you're going to end up with the resources active on both sites, which usually is a bad thing and is the exact thing that this feature is intended to prevent. 
So at the bottom of this slide, you can actually see this is the exact message that was displayed on the HMC console. And there's more than one way to actually see and respond to this prompt. So I mentioned it goes to Dev Console, so I can open a terminal window in the HMC. I can look at the options, and then it gives me the exact command uh, to, yeah, to execute. Now, if I don't have access to the HMC, or uh, even if I do, this may be a nicer, easier way to do it, is that uh, you can, of course, also perform these functions straight on the cluster nodes uh, using SMIT. So I can actually go into uh, prompt determination, tell it uh, manual response, display a response. So the same prompt that's displayed at Dev Console, I can see if it's being uh, prompted or not by using this option. Once it is, I can then choose the next option to provide a manual response. And in that SMIT screen, you'll have the two options of continue or recover as previously mentioned. Also, if I can do it through SMIT, I can usually also do it through the PowerHA Systems Director plugin. Uh, this is about the only piece up until now that's documented on how to recover. So be on the lookout for a new upcoming uh, 713 uh, PowerHA for AIX uh, cookbook update where we cover more details on how to configure this option and what the uh, options are. So uh, now I'm actually going to perform the demo. Now before I actually show the demo, I'll say that this particular uh, lab environment is on a private network, so it's uh, secure in the lab, so I have to actually physically be in the lab on the HMC to perform this demonstration. So there'll be a little bit of background noise, and I apologize for that. Um, I also have to physically be there to uh, cause a split to occur um, because I can't remote access the switch uh, to perform that function either. So, Okay, so I'm here at the lab sitting at the console, and on the bottom left here is the primary node Jessica on site Dallas. Uh, she owns the resource group. You can see here Dallas are it's up and stable. Shanley is also online. Uh, top right hand corner is the console uh, window to Shanley. And what I'm going to do is cause a uh, split site to occur by uh, severing the IP links between the two systems. So here we go. Okay, so I physically have pulled the cables and you can see on the QSA the QHA status on the left that uh, Jessica can no longer uh, talk to Shanley. So all I'm waiting for now is the uh, console message to appear about a split has been detected. And there we go. So both systems are now reporting a split has occurred. You can see the message appearing on both console windows. <laughs> Now, usually in a split site situation, you don't want to tell both systems to continue because that means they're both going to end up with the resource group. So typically, you'll tell one to recover and one to continue. And the recover says, I'm going to reboot. Uh, continue says, keep the resources if you have them. Um, acquire them if you don't have them. So, on the primary node, I'm going to tell it to continue. Now, you can either run the command manually, or you can also do this through uh, the Smitty SysMirror menus of going to Problem Determination, Manual Response to Split or Merge. Uh, this also shows you the option of how to display the message. So, if you don't have console access, as long as you can SSH or Telnet into the machine, uh, you can come to this option, the SMIT menu, again it requires root. You can come to the SMIT menu and see if a manual response is needed, which it is. And then you can also tell it how do you want to respond. So, on this case, I'm going to tell it to continue. And over on node Shanley, I'm going to tell it to recover. And again, you can either run the command line or you can do it through SMIT, either one. I like to do it through SMIT because I don't like typing in the, the long command. 
So that's actually going to force Shanley to reboot. Now, if I come back over on No Jessica and check the status, we're going to see that uh, it still owns the resource group. And there she is. So, resource group stayed online on the primary site, and the remote site is rebooting based on our choice. You can see it coming up. And with that, I'm going to conclude the demo. Of course, if you have any questions, feel free to send me an email at sbodily at cleartechnologies.net. And as always, thanks for watching.